Hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 I am still in Phoenix, on the outskirts of Phoenix, actually in Goodyear, Arizona. If you don't know why I'm still here, I'm uh, <laughs> waiting on my nose to stop itching. Okay, I'm waiting on packages. One package uh, is, I already have the tracking info, it should be here in a couple days. And it's a uh, colon cancer screening. The first one I sent, apparently I didn't do right. I gave them too much poo. Yes, you hit play. This is what you get, okay? Um, it's not too information if you voluntarily hit play. This is your fault at this point. Uh, anyway, <laughs> secondly, um, Nomad Internet, which I've not even gotten a freaking tracking number or anything for. Uh, a little pissed off at Nomad Internet. Not just a target, a super target. Two days without getting my steps in, my 10,000 steps. I cannot go three or I will die. I will be rewarding Brian and Marissa with a wonderful chicken fajita dinner <laughs> sometime this week. All right, I've driven by this place twice, and they were closed both times. I have an ass-kicking day gift shop. I'm hoping they're open. There's a car there, so that's good. Well, they got a truck. That's cool. Bunch of tractors out here. and What are we looking at here? If I was carpet bagger, I would put my face in that, but I'm not. So I'll leave that to him. Can you go any on us? Oh, somebody pooping. <laughs> More tractors and giant hot sauces and stuff. Okay, I'm intrigued. Let's enter. And it's all hot sauces. Smells really good. Oh man, does it smell good in here. So this place is fun. I, I consider it a roadside attraction. I, why wouldn't it be? Look at this place. It's awesome. So they're doing a, they have videos that they run and stuff. They make their own sauce here. They package it here. I'm a, a little blown away. So this is a, they got free samples. And this is the pickle one, which I'll pickle everything now. So, and you eat the shell. That's too weird for me. I've heard of boiled peanuts where you eat the shell, but. Okay. The microphone got good. <laughs> you changed peanuts for me. Highly suggest. See, here's your Carolina right here. Oh, okay. This one says uh, hot sauce from hell. Now, that's going to be your green reaper. So, oh, okay. when we have the green and the red reaper, it just, they're picked at different parts of their lives. But so, they're both equally as hot? They're both equally as hot, but the go green. flavors are different. I love green. Sauce from the hell. That's a lot too, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm, great flavor. You get the flavor before the burn. More flavor, yeah. Oh, here comes the burn. Oh, yeah. I can feel it right dripping right here. There it is. Really good though. It's not It's not crazy hot, but it's really good. No, it's the, the I love the quality control here. Oh, that's a big spoon too. Thank you. It's my sugar for the day. Well, it'll. Mm. Look at all these samples. They do not I know. mess around with the samples. They really, uh, oh, what is that? Beyond hot. I think I'm good for now. <laughs> I may do that when we come back and film. <laughs> I, agree. I got enough sweat from the giant ball of fire in the sky. Such a cool place as if it wasn't hot enough. <laughs> 
I just ingested both ghost peppers and Carolina Reapers. Yeah, smart, Brandon. There's a lizard right there. All kinds of wildlife going on here. He's a kitty. Oh, I'd love to snuggle you. That's oh, a kitty. Come here. There's a cat in heat in there right now. You want to go tell what you're here for? Definitely not Marcy. Marcy would come running up to me and go crazy and meowing and losing her mind. <laughs> I miss my cat a lot. He's going to have a nice little hangout. He's a neighborhood cat. Wow, you look like Marcy sometimes. He's so pretty. Two things I've been putting off. <laughs> One, putting the Terror Trader sticker from the last video of that place. I wish it said Terror Trader. I guess it does in very, very small letters, but um, put that somewhere on the box. It's a definite. And secondly, this door now is starting to squeak a little bit, and I don't like it. There we go. Part of the family now. We've really grown on this trip. If you remember last time, all I did was squirt some of this WD-40 into these little holes and everything was fabulous. Actually smells good too. Look at this kick-ass little backyard here. Good job, Brian. Let's, uh, let's just get all the water out of here and we'll just replace it with that bottled water. Right, you know, yeah. We should have enough, I just bought today. since I've gotten a grill anything. I'm excited, really excited about this. I wonder if I've forgotten how. You see, when I'm at home, I make all of this just for me. <laughs> Thankfully, there's friends here. Watch a little bit of uh, a little bit of carpet bagger. Ah, I'm not doing a whole lot today. I have been editing nonstop for days now. I'm just getting caught up with everything. I don't think there's anything left to do tonight. I may go for a walk tonight. I might take you with me. Um, that's later, though. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to a um, music instrument place in somewhere in Phoenix. <laughs> I, I, I don't like traveling on the weekends. I don't like driving on the weekends, especially in strange towns, especially in Arizona, especially in Phoenix. It's awful. Um, but I'm going to go check out some places tomorrow. We're going to make a, we're going to make a video out of this thing, people. We're going to do it together and uh, we'll keep it interesting. But today is not interesting. It's literally editing and between editing, laying here, I made fajitas earlier. Yum. Michael gets seconds on that. I feel bad for this cat, and I really do. And she's like in crazy heat. But man, all night, just constant meowing. All freaking night. Good morning. Today, I have two goals in mind. A, get my damn steps in, and then some. Got to make up for the last few days. And B, have an excellent adventure. Oh, and C, party on, dude. Well, whatever that squeaking is, it wasn't the door. And if it is the door, the WD-40 did not work because it's rattling and squeaking and driving me crazy. Ugh. Now I gotta figure that out. And spam.
playing it with no commercials. I I cannot help you with your gutters. <laughs> park there castles and coasters that is not why we're here though so again one of my favorite movies of all time bill and ted's excellent adventure uh i saw it i think eight times in the theater like back to back like over the course of like three days and then of course bought the vhs and then of course watched it a hundred times since and all of the mall scenes, the all of the mall scenes were filmed here. I guess they're doing an event here where they're showing Bill and Ted, Excellent Adventure, um, before they knock it down. And um, it's being destroyed, I think, as we speak. It's a cool looking mall, man. I mean, all that tile work and everything. It's a real bummer that it's not open. I would have loved to have gone in there and seen the actual stores and where Genghis Khan beat up the mannequin with the baseball bat and the ice, ice skating rink, which I guess they turned into a movie theater, but I would have loved to have seen all of that stuff. My next Bill and Ted stop is only five minutes away. I'm hoping that everything's kind of close together, bunched into a nice group. And here we are. <laughs> I don't think it's open. I wish it was, actually. If it opens at 10 or something, I'll stick around. But I, uh, let's see. It is uh, Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. That sucks. So it's now a Chuck E. Cheese. It used to be a showbiz pizza. What this is, is the ice cream parlor where they did the ziggy zig, ziggy zig, ziggy 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 zig, uh, ziggy pig thing. Let's do that anywhere there, you uh, piece of shit. Okay, whatever. So anyways, that's the, uh, <laughs> I'm sure this little area was much nicer back in the day. Ziggy zig. Ziggy zig. Drinking a Bud Light. So there's a, like a random stranger just sitting at the bar. By 15 seconds. And there it is. Our next stop. Coronado. Is that how you say that? Coronado High School. Now this is an active school, so I don't know. <laughs> how much filming I can actually do here, but uh, this is actually San Dimas High School football rules. Uh, San Dimas High School, which is actually Coronado High School. And you see that, that roof, it's pretty iconic in the movie. Actually, no, this doesn't make any sense. I think they've remodeled this building a lot. Like, I mean a lot, because that doesn't equal up to that at all. All right, I did ask somebody, and uh, they were like, what, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just looking for this. And they're like, oh, that no longer exists. So apparently this building here is uh, no longer there. Because I was looking for that post and that, the roof and all that stuff. Nope. That is gone. All right, this next stop is cool because it's still open. It's still a thing, I think. Maybe not. What the hell, dude? Waterloo. This is a whole little entertainment complex over here. But yeah, this is where they were doing the the water park scenes for Waterloo. That's cool. Oh, wow, the whole arcade and everything in here. Nice. So, I mean, those look familiar to me, the big long white ones. <laughs> That's the fence right over there. That is so much fun. And there's those big white slides right there. They might be different slides. I don't know. Oh, those are the same slides. So cool. 
<laughs> Napoleon's awesome. <clears throat> I don't remember who they got to play Napoleon, but he was perfect. All of this is up there. There was some kind of gate or something behind it. That's weird. <laughs> I love this so much. Yeah, the middle one. Which used to be blue, now it's yellow. Who knows if they've moved them around. Oh, that one goes right into the hill. That's awesome. That's the big white slides. Look how big this pool, how big they made it look. One more panoramic view. Perfect. Waterloo. I mean, these people have a great thing going here, but the fact that they have nothing to commemorate at all, Bill and Ted was filmed here. I mean, there's some great things here. I would love to have this in my house, but come on, put up a plaque right here. There's nothing right here. Screw a plaque in there. This is Bill and Ted and show some sc screenshots or something. You gotta be out kidding me. Ah, it drives me nuts. Appreciate your movie history, especially when you're a part of it. I think you know where this is. I like the people. It is no longer a Circle K by any means, but it's uh, <laughs> still a thing. So, yep, this is the strange things are afoot at the Circle K. So they sat right there <laughs> and discussed, uh, do you know when the Mongols ruled China? And some lady said, I don't know, I just work here. And then over here somewhere is where the telephone booth came down and they did their iconic scene right freaking here. How badass is that? Yep, same windows, same door frame. Kind of the same trash can over there too. It's different. <laughs> There's the lady. How do people go about finding movies? I would love to be the person who goes around and finds movie set locations. Looks like the same. Uh, oh, God, I, I just didn't even think about it. George Carlin stood right freaking here, man. George freaking Carlin, one of my major idols, stood right where I'm standing. That is, that is huge for your friend Brandon right now. I know. I'm sure he stood a lot of places, but. Oh, look at this, right here. In front of this second window, over here actually. Standing right where George Carlin stood. <laughs> Look at that right there. It's, a, it's exactly where I'm standing right now. Oh my goodness. This is badass. <laughs> 69. <laughs> badass. <laughs> this makes me really happy to say, you know. Oh, freaking George. One of my favorite movies, and of course, George Carlin was in it. <sighs> Damn it. That's it, man. That is definitely the spot. It's like the same lighting fixtures, too. That one made me really happy. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I have a feeling I'm going to be back to this place. It's, I don't know. I'll probably stop here every time I come to Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, it's like a third lane, I think. <laughs> so it's a great scene. There's so many in this movie. You see the bowling alley where it just said bowl. There's those two giant pillars out front definitely got painted and looks like it still has a similar roof to it 
be great if you just let me play the damn thing. Here we go. Yep, that's where they threw them out, right out the door. So great. So freaking great. You can tell it's been here for a while. This is where they threw them out. Of course, they have sliding doors now. They replaced all the doors. Tossed them out. And he went, uh, I'm sure none of that was here. Who knows what was there? Let's see what time they open. 4 p.m. on a Monday. I am not getting in, am I? Bubbles of joy! Everybody needs bubbles of joy. I'm gonna follow this van, get my bubbles of joy, and then take the van. Even better, the information that I had was wrong. And it's not Bill's house, it's actually Ted's house. Which is way better for my... Oh, it, is that it? I don't know. It's telling me that this is it. Right there. I know there's been a lot of remodeling, but is this the house? Let me see. 1841. Yeah, that's it. So it looks more like Bill's house, but it's, uh, I mean, someone's living there, so I don't want to point a camera at him, but I'm trying to think, because if it was Ted's house, then where's the uh, tree and all that stuff where, I got to look it up, hang on. So yeah, no videos or anything, but that is definitely Ted's house. Well, I guess it's time to pay rent. Why do I never see that coming? I just pulled up to the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, obviously. Look at this Ford Transit. Like a 150, that is freaking gorgeous. I've been on hold for 10 minutes. I said it would be six. It's not the worst hold music I've ever heard, but uh, it's up there. Just give you an update on Nomad Internet, which is who I'm holding for. I ordered it a month and a half ago. They promised me. I asked them before I ordered it. I had a bunch of questions. One of them was, will it get to me before I leave? Did they answer? No. Uh, the answer was yes. Nope. That was many weeks ago at this point. Going on three weeks. Actually, it's been three weeks since I've left my home. But then I said, will it get to Phoenix? And I changed the address to, to Brian's house. Yes, it'll be there probably by the time you get there. Really? Awesome. Third phone call I had with him. Which, by the way, getting a hold of them? Whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Any second now, they're going to tell me to leave a message. I know they are. And they'll never call you back. Third time I talked to somebody. Um, well, we ship them out this Friday. We're catching up on every order. All of our orders are going out this Friday. Cool. So it'll be a week from this Friday? Definitely. Definitely within a week. You're in, you're in Phoenix. It's coming out of Texas. It's going to be way probably sooner for you. Awesome. That was a week ago. <laughs> if it doesn't go out Friday, it'll go out Monday. Okay. Today's Monday. That was exactly a week ago from its latest it should have shipped out. Now this is the fourth phone call. Please leave your name, email, and phone number. And we will I just waited 15 fucking minutes for a voicemail. Hi, Nomad Internet. This is Brandon once again. Order number 121. Uh, do I even have to tell you why I'm calling at this point? I've left several messages, never get a call back. I've left several emails, never get an answer. All right, I'm not gonna let Nomad Internet ruin my visit to the National Musical Instrument Museum. This place is huge. I don't know where.
where I'd put it, but I definitely want it. It's like two floors. Each floor is huge. Definitely a great place to get your steps in. This excites me because of the drums. I, I've always wanted to collect drums and I know there's gonna be a lot of them in there that I want. Oh man. You gotta be kidding me, I want all of them. Yeah, this is absolutely freaking worth the 20 bucks it cost to get in. I want. You got all these homemade ancient drums and instruments, and then you see a Yamaha keyboard. Everyone else is using the headphones and the little thing that you get near the TV and you can hear it. And they're talking loud because they have headphones on. It's kind of funny, but I opted out of that because I love the silence of a museum. I don't know what all this is, but that's beautiful. Steel drums. Anybody that can play a steel drum is a, I've tried. It's, no, not for me. This place is uh, warming my heart. <laughs> Perfect. Everyone, including me, thought Alice Cooper was from Detroit, but I watched a recent documentary on him, and uh, yeah, right here in Phoenix. Uh, but they were called the Spiders. Alice Cooper, Alice Cooper, I do believe, was created in Detroit. Could be wrong. Yeah. Listen, he's the one that made Shut up. Um, oh, hello. God, I love Rush. Terry Bazio's drums. He was with Missing Persons. There's old Neil. Well, I am starving and this is here, so charge me whatever you want to charge me. So I was over here grabbing stuff. It's not that kind of restaurant. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Fruit, mac and cheese, and a chicken sandwich coming someday. Mac and cheese. I like, oh, it's it got the good noodles, too. They dropped some pepperoni in there for some reason, but, you know, maybe good. Oh, yeah. That is freaking fantastic. Look at that. You know it's good because it has a stick in it. It's a very powerful stick, too. Nice. I wasn't expecting much, but this is a very good sandwich. Very good. Good fries, great mac and cheese. All right, let's go see what else this place has to offer. This can't be an actual... Really? No way. I grew up loving Buddy Rich. Tito Pointe was amazing. Oh, this is so cool. If I can have anything in this whole museum, it'd be these timbales. music. This thing, this thing is beautiful. I used to have roto toms. center knob, I guess. This thing is beautiful. I 
And of course, I get shot. I've always wanted to have one of these ever since I saw Snoopy playing one. And we are back to film an episode of On the Roadside. Coolness. Who are you? Where are we? Uh, my name's Linda. You're at Southwest Specialty Food, the home of the Ass Kickin' Hot Sauce. We're a manufacturing facility, manufacturing over 200 specialty food items. Fun packaging, our whoop ass cowboys, our ass kicking donkey is a great mascot. And we make great, great, wonderful products. A lot are spicy and some will just kick your ass. Why so much profanity? It's not really profanity when you talk about a donkey. So, I mean, our donkey is our mascot and as everybody knows, that's an ass, so. So who's out here? I have three donkeys. I have um, oh, pepper, there. Hershey, and habanero. habanero. Oh, sorry, hot pepper. Hot pepper and habanero. Hey guys. This is fun. Oh, they can just walk right out, can't they? Oh, yeah. They have full range. Don't trip over that. Hey guys. It's amazing how big they are up close. Yeah. That one's salsa. Salsa. This one's pepper. And your habanero? That is Hershey. Hershey? Like how are you? you little, little, little sweaty donkey, aren't you? Oh, Hi, how are you? Kind of, I always say they're like big dumb dogs. They just <laughs> want to be you guys are beautiful. And they'll, stay, they'll start, they're all, they're very overweight. See this right here? This is a fat cat. Really? You go, see this not. Maybe too many carrots, huh? Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> Hello. No, no donkey selfie. Is that what this is? Put your hand over there, mister. Here we go. I take a donkey selfie. I think I made a friend. Oh, oh. <laughs> a couple of them. What a fun freaking day I had today in Phoenix. I might be able to get one episode out of one day. Actually, no. Yesterday I had I made fajitas, and I'll stick that in the beginning of this, I guess. But. What a fun day. What an ass-kicking day. Perfect. <laughs> 